What's up, YouTube? R&D Lee here. <coughs> Bringing you another tech talk. This time we're going to be talking about some belt tensioning. Um, so why would you want to tension your belt? Well, um, if it's too loose, if your belt is actually slipping. So I, what I've done here is I've kind of set up a board with one incredibly loose belt. So I've got the motor adjusted kind of all the way in so you guys can see what that looks like. And then a properly adjusted one so you can see the difference. Then we're going to go in, disassemble, and tighten the belt tension. So when your belt is too loose, how do you know? Well, sometimes people will actually feel it. Say when they're braking, they'll actually feel um, that it's like a slipping. There'll be a noise coming from, from uh, down there. And what that actually is, so it's the teeth of this belt actually slipping over the, uh, the motor pulley. So, you know, these... Uh, these pulleys have um, have some teeth on them, and sometimes the teeth can kind of slip over if there's not enough tension on there. Okay, so basically what that looks like, uh, you know, still on close up here, is this. You can actually kind of push on the belt. I don't know if you can see that properly, but um, just by pressing with your finger, the belt will flex a little bit. So you want um, you want a little bit of flex in that belt, but you don't want too much. So on this one over here. Um, I'm showing you what it looks like when there's way too much. So basically, that's crazy. Like, if you see something like that, that's wrong. Um, and you, like I said, you can see if you hold the motor and twist it, you can actually feel the belt skipping over. So, <clears throat> what do you do? First thing is you need to take off your pulley cover just to get access to where you can actually get to the adjustment screws. So pulley cover comes off. These are Torx um, bit, um, and this is good feedback. Torx are great for actually really getting kind of high torque without stripping anything. Better than hex keys, better than you know Phillips potentially. Not quite sure. Um, so let me know what you think. We use these; it's a specialized bit. But one thing that I know is potentially a problem is if people don't actually have these, that might be a pain. You got to go out and buy a set of drivers. So let me know what you think of that down in the comments. But for now, all their stuff is coming with Torx bits, so that's what I do. I got this guy kind of rigged up. Um, and get this guy undone. And with that, your pulley cover comes off. That gives you access to four screws that uh, control the position of the motor. So you can't really see, but in here, basically, these screws are in a slot, so this motor kind of can slide back and forth. Now, I slid it all the way uh, kind of towards the wheel for the purpose of this video. All right, so um, in doing that, we've got this crazy amount of slack in the belt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and adjust, basically loosen all these guys. These ones on the inside, the ones on the outside are easy. The access is you know, no problem. Just kind of loosen them up. You don't need to take the screws all the way out. You're just loosening. Okay. And then these guys in here are kind of a pain to get to sometimes, but um, you just got to reach in there, give a couple turns. That guy had loosened up earlier. Um, this guy, same thing. Like I said, it's kind of access is a bit of a pain sometimes, but um, just get those guys. It don't need to be super uh, loose, but just enough to where your motor can actually slide. Okay, so there you can see this guy kind of slides back and forth, right? Now we don't give a ton of adjustment in there, but that's all you need really, just barely any. So you're gonna be doing this kind of by feel. All right, so if you're pushing out on your motor really, really hard, okay, and then you tighten those guys up, well, that's gonna make your belt super duper tight, you know? So you don't want it like so tight because what happens when it's really tight, there's a lot of tension in the belt, okay? You don't want tons of tension, you just want enough to kind of stop the slipping. So in general, what I find is just, you know, finger, if you're not exerting a ton of pressure, but you're just kind of pushing it to where all the slack is out, exerting a little bit of pressure, that's pretty much where you want to be. Now the key is, because these inside ones are really difficult um, to get to, the, what I do is when you're pressing there, do these outside ones first, because all you need really is two screws, really just probably one, but just to be safe, get these two outside ones locked down. And then once you have that, you can let off uh, the pressure that you're putting on the motor. Because now this guy's locked in there. He's not going to move. You can go and kind of test your tension. Once again, look on here. That's, you know, say taking a pinky. That's about the perfect amount. 
Um, it's, it's, it's more scientific than that, but this is kind of like, you know, you don't have the proper tools to measure it. So it's just, you know, taking a pinky and make sure there's a little bit of flex. It's not like, you know, super taut, um, but not as much as it was before. And the true test is going out, riding, making sure that your belts aren't slipping. Um, so now that you got those two done, you need to go and get your inner guys, um, them tightened up as well. So let me just slip in there. Then and like I said, the Torx wrench, or the Torx bits allow you to get those guys pretty darn tight. Really, you're not going to strip it, so just crank away. And that just makes sure that your motor's not going to slip later. Once you've done the four, I go back around again and re-tighten because each one that you tighten gives you a little bit more room to kind of tighten a little bit more yeah that's pretty much it so then after that you got a nice tight belt not going to slip you need to throw your motor cover back on of course um well, how you guys doing good all right so now that you got that and everything is nice and tight then you're good to go i'm ready to go out ride this thing i got the street wheel set up with the highest gear ratio, so that's kind of the fastest one. We're gonna see how this goes, maybe do some kind of efficiency test later on. Let us know if you guys wanna see anything else in terms of tech talks and all that type of stuff. Obviously make sure that you have liked and subscribed and all that good stuff. And until next time, have a good one.